Hello, this is Mr. Heil, and today we are going to be talking about uh, dividing decimals. This is the first time uh, the students have seen division this year, and uh, this is reaching standard uh, 5 MBT 7, uh, which is the division part of the operations of decimals. Um, today, uh, what we are going to be doing is uh, dividing decimals by single-digit whole numbers, um, that's involving easily identical multiples using place value understanding and then relate it to the standard algorithm. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to the problem set. Uh, and we, what we talked about in class was knowing that um, the dividend can also be written in different ways. So in the past, we have talked about decomposing numbers. So right here, we know that we have one and six tenths and we need it to divide it by four groups or four groups of how many tenths is one and six tenths. So what we did in class is we, let me turn on this real quick. Uh, we made a place value chart and we had our ones and our tenths, something that you've probably seen a lot of. You got to pardon my drawing since I'm doing it on uh, on the computer. Uh, so we have one and a one tenth. So our one and six tenths would look like this: one and six tenths. When we decompose our numbers, we know that one and six tenths is the same thing as sixteen tenths. So we know that sixteen tenths divided by four would be what? We should know that sixteen divided by four is four but 16 tenths divided by four would be four tenths. So we know that four groups of four tenths is equal to one and six tenths. Same thing being, we know that one and six tenths divided by four is going to be four tenths, which is decimal point four. Um, letter B, it says eight groups of how many hundreds is 32. So once again, we have 32 hundreds divided by eight, we could go ahead and put that in the place value chart. We would have uh, 32 hundreds, uh, three tenths, two hundredths, uh, which is the same thing as 32 hundreds divided by eight. How many hundredths would we need? We would have eight groups of, once again, four hundredths. 32 hundredths divided by eight would be, we know that's four hundredths. We would write that as decimal zero, four. Now we're going to go ahead and skip down to uh, number two. It says we are going to complete the number sentence, express the quotient in units, and then in standard form. Well, we have four and two tenths divided by seven is the same thing as how many tenths? Well, we just talked about we know that four and two tenths is the same thing as 42 tenths. And if we divide 42 tenths divided by 7, we know that we get 6 tenths. And that equals in standard form, or 6 tenths in standard form, is equivalent to decimal point 6. Let's go ahead and try another one. It says we have 2 and 64 hundredths, and we're dividing that by 2. Well, that's the same thing as 2 ones divided by two plus 64 hundredths divided by two. So we know that two divided by two, two ones divided by two would be one one, and then 64 divided by two is 32. So we would have one one and 32 hundredths, which would be one decimal point three two which is one and thirty two hundredths and let's see number three it says find the quotients and then it says then use words numbers pictures to describe any relationships you notice between each pair of problems and quotients on this problem right here uh students are going to be 
dividing these numbers, 32 divided by 8 and 3 and 2 tenths divided by 8. Um, and they're going to compare and look at the numbers. And we're looking for what are the numbers, are our answers or quotients, are they reasonable? Um, so we know that 32 divided by 8 is 4. Um, and we could we could do a, a disk method that's, and show that 32 divided by 8 equals 4. But then when we do 3 and 2 tenths divided by 8, we know we're going to get 4, but for what? So we can show that we have 32. We can show that we have 32. What nice straight line, Mr. Heil. We have uh, 3 and 2 tenths. That we're going to make that. Uh, 32 tenths. So 32 tenths divided by 8 would give us 4 tenths, which is decimal point 4. So we know the answers are, are reasonable because we know 32 tenths divided by 8 would give us uh, 4 tenths, and 32 divided by 8 is 4 holes. Um, and we could, we could go ahead and write that out. Uh, number 4 kind of does the same thing. How do we know the quotients are reasonable? And then explain our answers. And uh, number five and six are can do problems. If uh, the students are looking to do a little bit extra work, they can go ahead and give that a shot. Um, once again, we're not really getting to the standard algorithm yet. We're just using our basic uh, mental math to get into this. Tomorrow we will get into using the disk method a little bit more. And um, that is our start to division. Uh, practice up on your multiplication and division facts and have a great day.